All right, here we go. Space Quest 2! <laughs> Look at those graphics. They're greatly improved and... and Not really. And, it's pretty much the same oh, you're right. engine as the first game. Don't worry. Space Quest 3 will be better graphics. Chapter 2! The Atari symbol. Did this one come out on Atari? No. Not as far as I... Maybe the Atari ST. But not the Atari 800. Um, anyway. Volhall's Revenge is the subtitle here. Because if you remember Volhall, and you probably don't, because he wasn't even in the first game. So... But he's taking his revenge! What? <laughs> At last, my arch nemesis. Um, have we met? <laughs> no. Yeah. But I oh, hate Mark you. Crow. Yeah, we do do a lot of retro stuff. It's fun. Sub styly a shout out. As you recall in our last chapter, you just foiled the Sarian's fiendish plot to rule the galaxy by using the star generator as the weapon of destruction. You became a hero by saving countless lives and blah 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 blah. Life was beautiful. Just like that movie with the won an Oscar. Um like, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that one. <laughs> Did that win an Oscar? I don't even know. But heroes come and go, and people soon forget. Your celebrated herodom slowly fades, leaving you, once again, a janitor. The promotion to head janitor was no consolation, especially since you're the only member of the janitorial staff. Uh, nor was the transfer to Orbital Station 4. Sweating like a pork beast in a pressure suit while relocating space debris in zero gravity. A pork beast? A pork beast. Just wasn't your idea of a Sweating good time. Sweating like a pork. Beast. Life sucks! Again. Wah, wah. So here's the place. Xenon or 8 old station. <laughs> it's not Krypton. It's not Argon. It's or not Helium. Or... Can you name all the noble gases? Um, Radon! Sir, Sir Gas the Third. The <laughs> he wasn't that noble. Oh, that's true. Okay, so we gotta type in our name. Do we wanna stay. Do we wanna go to actually Roger Wilco, who's Sir the guy's actual name? Sir Flatulence. No. Or do we, we want to keep it Jan Itor it's Fred? Jan Itor Fred Waldo. <laughs> oh, we gotta add the Waldo because yeah, we missed it last time? Yeah. Okay, Jan Itor Fred. Oh, it doesn't okay, do it. Okay, get rid of Fred and put in Waldo. Well, this is a slightly different guy this time. In Space Quest 3, they'll just make you Roger Wilco, so... This oh. is our last our last hurrah for Jan Itor. Waldo. Waldo. <laughs> I hope we'll be able to find him. Um, get it? There's... Yes, I get it. There he is right Orbital there. Station 4 is one of many orbiting Xena on your home planet. At least one of four. That's all. Now, last time they said Ernon was a galaxy, but now it seems that it's just the solar system. So... That's depressing. We begin this chapter of the story, we find you, Jan I Tor Waldo, ace janitor, doing what you do best. There's no sound in space, this is so unrealistic! <laughs> also, what kind of sound is that? A beep emanates from your wristwatch. You release your grip on the broom. Goodbye, broom. There it goes. Bye, broom. We hardly oh. knew ye. Him cleaning outside reminds me of Bernie from Wally. -E. Uh, oh, right. That short from the Wally -E movie. That makes the third one this week. Wait till your boss finds out. Speaking of which, let's look at the watch. That beeped. So we got H, C, and T. Press H. What does H do? Ah, it wigs out. This is your horoscope for today. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Today could bring that big promotion you think you deserve. Don't take any wooden buckazoids. That was dumb. What about T? Time, 11.26. Temperature, negative 47 degrees Celsius. Ouch. 11.26? Is it actually? It might actually be 11.26. Uh, what is C? Oh, C's the boss. It's, it's 11.08. It's Ron Jimbo. <laughs> You're right, oh, Waldo! Get in here on the double! You've got a mess to clean up in the shuttle which just returned! One of the passengers got space sick on the way down. Besides, you should have been done out there an hour ago. Get a move on! That was nearly Cookie Monster, but hopefully not quite enough. <laughs> uh, F10, I'm done. 
I guess I should start saving and stuff because I don't want to die. I mean, I do want to die. You can die just by doing this. Ah! Due to an obvious lack of common sense, you've stepped off the edge, lost your magnetic grip off the ship, and drifted to your death. You didn't drift. You fell. You fell that straight. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, we've actually got a um a death theme in this one. Way to go, wingnut! Once again, you've demonstrated your inability to sustain life. You quickly glance, glance around the room to see if anyone saw you blow it. Oh no! The whole internet saw me blow it! Well, or like the three people watching. Hey, they count, I guess. No, you guys are cool. Yeah, we like you. You're a lot better than those other people that don't... Yeah, than those jerks from last week. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, wait. I mean... They're, they're the same ones. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, oh, look at this. Look, you can walk on the wall. That's do, awesome. Do, 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 do. I like that See, a lot. That's pretty cool. Oh, Space Quest so, 2. So, uh, apparently, there's gravity... Artificial gravity on the sh... Or magnetic gravity on the ship. It's just you've got magnet boots on. Okay, and then you just fall off the side. Of but you fall off the side because, because the magnet doesn't, you know, extend around. Maybe there's a plastic part. Anyway, we're being decontaminated. Or we're having a disco. Or we're being contaminated. Ooh. So, here we are, once again. Let's open our locker. It looks slightly different from the first game. <laughs> and, uh, here's what the room looks like. I meant to look in the locker. There we go. Let's find a Cubics Rube puzzle. <laughs> and your jock strap. All right. Ah! <laughs> okay, so we've we've also got a dialect translator, which I think we picked up in the last game. Conversational um, Klingon. An order form, and then the jock trap and the puzzle we just got. Just you know, this is an order form you removed from a magazine for a free Labion Terror Beast mating whistle. What? You heard me. <laughs> So there's some there, there's there's a joke for example that I never got when I was a kid. Um do you get it now? Yes. What does it mean? Explain it to me. No. Oh. Hold on. My boss is now uh, apparently blonde and lost his mustache and all of his facial features. Um it's about time we got in here, head for the shuttle bay, blah blah blah. You're on your last leg around here, bud. One more screw up in your history. All right, so let's go to the shuttle bay. Look at these dudes in the front. You got um, boring McBorrels on the left there. You got bug you got the guy. He's the guy from the hologram the, from the last game. The guy from the hologram of the last game, and then Robbie the robot there on the right, I guess. <laughs> some kind of android. I think he's some kind of rodent. What the? <laughs> I, th I think he stole that guy's wallet. Anyway, so let's go to the shuttle bay. Hello, Shuttle Bay. Oh. <laughs> what was that? That's... Oh. Hey, he's like his guy to the galaxy every time a door opens. Oh. He goes, oh. Oh. Or every time you close Skype, it does the same sound. I suppose that's true. All right, well, let's 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 start sniffing around for the mask I got to clean. Gross. You're surprised to find the shell's not empty. There are two extremely ugly suckers walking towards you. Hey, what the... Your favorite expletive here. What? <laughs> What's your favorite expletive? Everyone say your favorite expletive. Pow, thwack, bink, thud, bort, sna. <laughs> your protest is cut Duff. short as two interstellar ruffians proceed to thump you unconscious. Everything fades. Still haven't given your favorite expletive yet. I, um. Creighton, Ridley. <laughs> there we go. Time passes. More time passes. Uh, you're having a dream. Realization you're being shaken. Somebody's talking to you. Uh, upon awakening, apparent you're not in Kansas, Xenon anymore. You're being restrained by the galactic goons you met on the shuttle, and then your hands are tied behind your back. And as the eyes dial into focus, here's what you see. Ah! That's your. It's your boss. <laughs> kind of. No, oh, he's missing the mustache though. That's true. Well, he shaved it off. He's a sagging mass of flesh that appears to have been human at one time. Tubes and wires extend from his body. He's really not in good shape. And he's so he's a, the fat Darth Vader. He's the fat Darth Vader, and he's like this. 
Oh, well, well, did we have a nice nap? I thought we would have to resort to drastic measures to wake you. Oh, well. Welcome to my humble fortress, Jan Eitor Waldo. <laughs> That's a <laughs> stupid name. The name's Vohal. Sludge Vohal. I'm getting my revenge for some reason. I was the genius behind the star generator when it was still in the concept phases. Okay, that's our revenge. So we blew up his sweet, his cutie pie. Um, it would just be my ultimate war weapon until some sissy pants scientist decided to be better used saving lives rather than destroying them. Jerks. What a waste of technology. Excuse me if I sound bitter. I'm not one-dimensional. <laughs> anyway, you ruined my sharing operation. I was going to use the star generators to make Xenon pay for what they did to me. They were going to know my wrath in a big way. You somehow managed to change all that. Oh, I suppose I should have known better than to use those mental midget Sarians. That's not the point, however. You are responsible and you shall pay. Besides, I have another plan. You'll not be around to foil it. You ready for his plan? It's um, evil. I guess I have to mm. be ready. I have devised a plan so horrible, so frightening, so diabolical that no one will be able to stop me. Observe my latest creation. Ding. What the? <laughs> I intend to infest your plan with thousands of these genetically engineered door-to-door -door life insurance salesmen! Wow. Yep. I will at last reap sweet revenge from the scientific community that mocked me. Um. <laughs> at least they're not Jehovah's Witnesses. Hey! But my plan was to kill you, but I've had a change of heart. <laughs> Looks at the hoses. Uh, forgive me, I'm a, I'm a kidder. <laughs> I've decided I would get much more enjoyment watching you suffer. Ha 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 Sorry. <laughs> Just looking at his head, that's what he's doing. <laughs> he's escorting you to the service of labor and will perform many painful hours of manual labor in my mind. Be seeing you. Ha 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 ha. Also, what's with the news guy behind him? What's going on? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interested in those monitors. Oh, I guess they're gone now. Anyway, you get injected and drug onto a shuttle. And there's his massive asteroid fortress, which we shall, of course, not ever infiltrate later in the game. That would be silly. Ow! Also, these are apparently the monkeys from uh, Planet of the Apes. Yeah. yeah. After touching down, you're in a huttercraft. Utter despair sets in. Well. <laughs> Look at this parallax scrolling, man. Parallax? Yeah, the trees in the foreground are moving faster than the trees in the background. Ooh, it's a multi-plane camera. Yeah. Except, except no camera was used. Pretty cool. Well, I can't type anything. Or do anything. <laughs> so, so how's your day, monkey number one? Well, <laughs> uh oh, we're running out of gas. Oh, that's interesting. Mine too. Well, <laughs> well, we're out of gas. Uh oh. Hi, man. <laughs> oh, great. Well, I suppose we're out of fuel. Way to go, Gorf Breath. What? Gorf. It's One a monkey wouldn't have called another monkey that. Gorf is a was an old game. Was it? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a Space Invaders slash Tempest slash... Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Don't blame me! <laughs> it was your turn to fill up! I can't do a monkey voice. <laughs> You're always forgetting to do it! <laughs> then I turned into Mickey Mouse. I'm not sure what's going on. Anyway, you're you're in big trouble! You're in big trouble now, monkey man! Gorf breath! <laughs> hey, don't talk to me that way, you slime bucket! Oh, I feel it last time, dip... Uh, the argument between the two guards is cut short as gravity research. <laughs> oh no! Oh, ah! Ah, hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> I don't know what you've turned into, but it's 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 less Mickey Mouse than it is something else. <laughs> look, good thing that guard broke your fall. He doesn't look too happy about it, though. Okay, so you gotta. Here's one thing about Space Quest Two. Um, Wow, does it want to kill you? There is a million ways to dies that you'll never even see. Search the grotesque body and you find a small, thin magnetic card. You seem to recall seeing one in someone in the past. 
You hear that beeping noise? Do I ever? Um. Pod? You notice a button with a flashing light next to it. That's basically a homing device, and if you don't hit the button, then uh, you'll eventually die, but not right now. Space Quest 2 is notoriously bad at unwinnable situations, too. I'll try I'll try to, to, to do them well. For example, do you think you can die on this screen? And if so, where would it happen? <laughs> Probably the least logical place. That's right. For example, if I want to walk to the right here to go off the screen... Oh, I'm dead. The end. <laughs> <laughs> you fall to the bottom of a concealed pit. <laughs> and there are several 30 centimeter long spikes planted vertically along the bottom. <laughs> Space Quest 2! Everything trying to kill you. <laughs> like, like, just randomly, a middle of, just the middle of the ground. Oh, you're dead. I mean, now that you know it's there, you can kind of see a box, but it's still ridiculous. The other thing is, if you walk to the right... This screen has no useful purpose at all. There's nothing on this screen that you need. There's these giant mushrooms, of course. Ooh, giant mushrooms. Ooh. <laughs> Aside from the enormous side, they appear to be your average garden variety mushrooms. So They're not your average garden variety. Oh, well, maybe they are. Let's go size. up to this one. Oh, and now he's happy. Ooh, giant mushrooms. <laughs> Holy jeez, boy. That mushroom thing sucked you clean up. Can't move a muscle, muscle, and then uh, it died. Suddenly, it's not so bad in here. Wow! Check out the colors, dude. Your body and mind enjoying the short-lived buzz that is a side effect of the lethal poison you now marinate in. Well, the uh, not a bad way to go, actually. The creators, creators of this game, definitely lived through the '60s. But it sure is early in the game. I had high hopes for you. They said, "Who? Yanai Torwaldo? Not a chance. That chump won't last twenty minutes." I said, no way, Yanito Wallow is that lame. So anyway, don't make me look stupid too, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> really, half of the fun of this game is just, uh, <laughs> just dying. Just dying when, um, <laughs> and just seeing the, the dying messages. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this is just what happens when a DM gets angry. That's what the chat is. That's what chat is. Yeah. Okay, so this screen looks like nothing can kill you on it, right? Suddenly from somewhere to the east, you hear a twang, followed by a high-pitched shriek. Now, that doesn't sound deadly. And You're actually, right. That's not deadly. I, I think there's, like, a way to die on almost every single screen in this game. At least starting, you know, here in the jungle. But your ogre's gonna come get you. Oh, wait. No. That's another but if you go to the east... Oh, oh, there's a guy stuck in a tree. Hold on. I accidentally walked back. Now he's gone! Oh crap, I need to... I, I think that's unwinnable if that happens. Because you're supposed to free that guy. And then he helps you out later. I didn't know he disappeared if you left the screen, though. What on earth is that? Look, guy. The little creature caught in the snare has thick-looking pinkish skin. He looks to be less than a meter tall, and he doesn't seem too thrilled with his predicament. So, well, at least he stopped moving. Oh, nope, he's moving again. Untie dude. Hey, it worked! <laughs> so then he looks at you. Before disappearing through a tiny hole in the brush, the little creature gives you a long glance, narrows his eyes, shakes his head. <laughs> yeah. No, this, yeah, yeah, this, this game uh, becomes unwinnable so quickly if you don't know what you're doing. And yeah, that that's an unwittable situation is letting that guy go. Um so, cuz he has to come back at the end and save you from the mother brain. <laughs> <laughs> so he can't go north. <laughs> he has to come back at the end and get zapped by Mordak. You're something. It's not unlike the hovercraft you were locked in. So you have to hide behind a tree at this point. Because this guy suddenly appears. <laughs> ah! 